Break news coming in this hour. An Indian prisoner has uh, allegedly been killed in the Landhi jail in Karachi. The Indian prisoner's body has been sent to a hospital for post-mortem. This is the news that we're getting in from Pakistan. Our uh, correspondent uh, Hamza is joining us on the phone line from Islamabad. Uh, Hamza, any clarity on the identity of uh, this prisoner and what exactly led to his death? Uh, well, we don't have a clarity on uh, the name and identity of the prisoner, but uh, sources uh, from the vicinity of uh, Landi Jail in Karachi have confirmed that uh, the death actually has occurred. It is a result of a uh, fight with the inmates, as it is being said right now. Uh, he's uh, been declared dead. His body has been transferred to a local hospital, uh, the name Civil Hospital, for where his postmortem will be done. And after that, only will they will be be able to find out exactly what what was the reason for his death. Right now, it's only confirmed that uh, he had a fight, he was tortured, and that is why uh, he died. And uh, right now, his body is in the hospital. Absolutely, and Hamza, this is a crucial development coming against uh, the backdrop of reports that Indian prisoners uh, have, have been brutally tortured uh, in Pakistani jails. One of the reasons for this is the fact that the Indian government hasn't uh, agreed to identify them. Well, yes. See, it is a very, very crucial issue. Uh, remembering the fact that in the time when Sarabjit Singh was in court, Lakhpat Jail, uh, he was also subjected to torture, and there was also reports that it was the authorities who actually ensured that he's uh, he's dead and he's been tortured. Uh, right now, is the same case happening again. Unfortunately, this time around, we don't even have a lawyer. Uh, the Indian prisoners uh, uh, in Pakistan do not even have a lawyer to actually, you know, fight for them because. Awais Sheikh, the lawyer who was here, he was threatened, he was actually kidnapped and now he is in Sweden. Uh, so there is no one to represent them and there is no ownership of these prisoners as well. So their fate actually lies with the authorities who are always ready to make sure that they are tortured, that they are brutally injured or probably leading to death. And this is the second case that has come up uh, in, in the case of Karachi jail as well. Absolutely, and Hamza, coming against the backdrop also of the fact that the murder trial in Sarabjit's uh, case has just begun uh, last month. This is something that the Indian government has repeatedly accused uh, its Pakistani counterparts of, of ignoring the safety of Indian prisoners in Pakistani jails. We do believe there are more than 200 Indian prisoners uh, in these jails. Yes, uh, there, are, there are actually a good number of uh, Indian prisoners in Pakistani jails, uh, while the Indian authorities actually said, back uh, uh, in India and accused Pakistan, uh, as said before, unfortunately there is no one to actually, uh, you know, carry that uh, weightage forward on the legal ground towards Pakistan. Uh, and that is where, you know, there, there is a lack of interest as far as India is concerned uh, and related to the Indian prisoners in Pakistan. They talk about uh, prisoner sharing, uh, they talk about releasing prisoners in Pakistani jail and Indian jails, but unfortunately enough, there is no one here to actually look after them, look into what is going, going what is happening with them. And for years, these uh, prisoners have been lingering over here and there's no uh, respite for them right now. Even in case of Sarabjit Singh, even uh, when Sarabjit Singh was released, he also said the same thing. Right. That they were tortured uh, incidents and now we've got another incident in Karachi where another prisoner has been killed. Right. Hamza, stay on with us. Let's also get in a word uh, from our strategic affairs uh, editor, Gaurav Sawant, who's joining us live from our newsroom. Gaurav, another Indian prisoner brutally killed inside a Pakistani jail. Clearly, this is something that the Indian government will take up uh, with the Islamabad. We are still waiting to hear from the Ministry of External Affairs on the matter, but uh, uh, an Indian prisoner being killed in Pakistani jail uh, does not come as a surprise. Uh, Chamel Singh and Sarabjit Singh uh, are two instances uh, which, which became very high profile. Uh, Pakistan does not even acknowledge uh, that it has a large number of Indian prisoners of war from the 1971 uh, uh, conflict between India and Pakistan uh, still languishing in Pakistani jails. Uh, there is information that has come from sundry sources and from from prisoners who are either released or from human rights activists uh, in Pakistan who've been working in Pakistani jails uh, about Indian prisoners in Pakistani jails and their sorry plight but officially uh, government of Pakistan does not acknowledge it and given the the nature of relationship between India and Pakistan uh, very very little is known of this it's only human rights activists and workers either on Indian side or on Pakistani side who take up these matters repeatedly but unfortunately from the Pakistani side given the nature of relationship between India and Pakistan justice is seldom delivered.
Yes, and in fact, uh, you know, uh, Gaurav, there have also been uh, reports in the media recently that were actually that came to light after an RTI that suggested that Indian prisoners who have already served their terms in Pakistani jails were living a life of torture and brutality. One of the reasons because of this is because the Indian government has failed to confirm their nationality. Well, our sources in the Ministry of External Affairs on the broader aspect say that every time a nationality is confirmed, they immediately move to bring uh, the, the prisoner back once he's uh, finished his jail term. But in several other instances, uh, Pakistani authorities do not share full details with government of India. And on sketchy details, uh, you know, unless his village is verified, unless the antecedents are verified, unless it's verified who this person is, where he went from. There is a fear of Pakistani spies uh, being pushed across. Of course, a large number of Indian fishermen are also languishing in Pakistani jail, especially in, in Karachi jail. Uh, uh, but those, those, the issue of fishermen is dealt with separately government of india first verifies who these people are from their villages from their police station and only then right. uh, this this can move forward but this particular prisoner uh, details still awaited whether he's one of the fishermen uh, who who was caught or who who uh, this man actually is who's been found dead in the karachi prison absolutely and this also puts a huge question mark on pakistan's intention of providing safety to indian prisoners uh, in their jails gaurav Savan, hamzami thanks so much for that update we continue tracking developments as gaurav was saying we're also awaiting an official response from the ministry of external affairs news and updates continue here do stay with us